Hey guys and welcome to another video. A couple of weeks ago I made a video about all the book series that I'm currently reading and that I still want to finish. And that's why today I thought it would be fun to make a video all about book series that I don't want to finish. Usually I'm pretty loyal to book series and that's why I usually finish most of them. But of course there are also book series that I don't like and that I have absolutely no interest in anymore. So yeah, let's just get started with this video and then I'm going to tell you all about book series that I won't be finishing. So I'm going to start with an obvious one and that is of course the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. If you have been following my videos for a little while now, you probably know how I feel towards Sarah J Maas books and it's not very positive. I read the first book in the series Throne of Glass years ago before I even discovered booktube and I didn't really hate it but I also thought it was pretty boring and really nothing special but then I did discover booktube and I also discovered that the Throne of Glass series was like one of the most popular book series ever and a lot of people told me that the first book Throne of Glass really wasn't that special but that you really should read the second book uh, Crown of Midnight because that one was supposed to be way better. So because of that I read Crown of Midnight and again I really wasn't that impressed with it. It's supposed to have all these amazing plot twists and characters and all this exciting stuff going on. Well I predicted all the plot twists and again I really didn't like the characters. In the Throne of Glass series you're being told that a character is like really really amazing and badass but you never really see it. So after Crown of Midnight I decided to DNF the series because I was just so unimpressed by it. But then we also have Sarah J Maas's other book series which is of course the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I don't know if I should count this as won't be finishing or not because originally it was supposed to be a trilogy and I finished that trilogy but now there are more books coming and like there's this novella that has just come out and I really don't know what like the plan behind this whole series is but yeah one thing is certain I won't be reading any of the new books like published in that world. So with the Throne of Glass series I was just very unimpressed and bored but with the Akatar series I really really hate that series. I sort of enjoyed a Court of Thorns and Roses, the first book, and then I really did not like A Court of Mist and Fury. Probably one of the most unpopular opinions ever. I just really, really hate the characters, especially recent. And then A Court of Wings and Rune came along, and that one was like absolute garbage in my opinion. I have a review video for that book, and I also talk more about why I don't like Sarah J. Maas' books in my popular books that I hate video. I will leave links to those videos down below in the description box. But basically I hate Sarah J Maas's writing. I think it's so annoying and I just really, really cannot stand it. I think it's way too dramatic. I also hate her characters because she writes the same sort of characters over and over again. Her books just annoy me so much. I really do not like them at all. And that's why I won't be finishing those book series, I just have no interest in them and yeah, really, really not my thing. Then I have another book series that you might have been expecting and that is of course the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Carrie Maniscalco. Again, if you have been following me, then you know about my feelings towards this book. But basically, Stalking Jack the Ripper is my least favorite book of all time. I read it last year, I completely hated it. It's just so bad in my opinion that it's almost like funny. Audrey Rose Wadsworth is the main character and she's the worst main character I've ever read about. She's supposed to be an amazing feminist but she also really is not. She's supposed to be solving the mystery of stalking Jack the Ripper but basically she isn't. She looks down on other women who aren't like as smart and as progressive as she is. But yeah this book is also the first book in part of a series. I believe the third book is coming out this year. I have absolutely no interest in reading the other two books. I mean, I don't know if they are as bad as this book is, but if Audrey Rose has the same uh, characteristics, then they probably are. Like, I don't need to read about Audrey Rose saying that she doesn't need men in her life like 500 times again and again and again. I mean, I don't know, maybe the other books in the series are better, but like, I just don't want to read them. But yeah, Stalking Jack the Ripper, not really a book series I would recommend. The next I have some duologies, but I think those count a series so I'm going to include them in this video. And first of all I have the Flame in the Mist duology by Renee Adier. This is the first book I got it last year and I was really excited about it because I really really love Renee Adier's other duology, the Red and the Dawn duology. And Flame in the Mist was supposed to be like this um, Asian inspired story and sort of like a Mulan retelling. But then I read the book and it was such an amazing letdown. The main character Mariko is again 
like a sort of character we're being told that she's really amazing but we don't really see her do anything i thought she was extremely bland and boring the whole story just wasn't exciting or captivating at all i read it last year i can barely remember a thing of it except that i thought it was so disappointing i think when i compare this book to the Red and the Dawn books. I think this one is just so much less exciting. And I was really sad about that because I really truly wanted to love this book. But I just didn't. And again because it was so boring and so not exciting. I really have no interest whatsoever to pick up the second book. I just don't care what's going to happen next. I barely know what happened in this book anymore. So I don't care what's going to happen after that. So yeah, I won't be finishing this duology. And then next I have the Caravel series by Stephanie Garber. This is basically the exact same story as with Flame in the Mist. This is the first book in a duology. I Actually, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a third book. I believe I read about a third book, but I'm not completely sure. But anyway, Caraval is the first book in this series. And it's a YA circus themed book. And it was like compared to the Night Circus before it was released. And again, I was so excited to read this book because the Night Circus is one of my all time favorite books. And like this was supposed to be just as good. But it really really wasn't. And again I was so massively disappointed by it. I don't think this is the worst book ever. But I do think that my expectations were really high. And then this book was just not really special at all. I think that's the best description. It's just not really special in any way. I thought the world building wasn't as good. I thought the characters were very one dimensional. The second book Legendary has just come out I believe. Or it just has to come out. And I remember saying after I finished this book. That I would read the second book to see what's going to happen next. But now I'm not going to. Because again... I'm just so not interested in it. Again, it's not the worst book series ever, but it's really not the best book series ever. And yeah, again, I really wanted to love it, but I just really, really did not. So yeah, again, I won't be continuing with this series either. The next, I have a series that might be a bit of a weird one because I actually love this series, but it's the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon. I own the first four books and I've read the first three books. And the thing is, with this series, it's a bit complicated because I did really enjoy the first three books especially the first book i think the first book is the best and it's like this epic adventure about a woman who travels back in time and meets a handsome scottish warrior and yeah as i said i really loved the first book i enjoyed the second book i enjoyed the third book but the thing is these books are so incredibly massive and they're so long and there are so many books in the series i believe there are nine or eight at this point and there doesn't really seem to be an end to this story usually book series have a sort of end point but with this book series it's just like the main characters go from problem to problem and then one problem is solved but then there's another problem and it just never seems to be like going anywhere and i do love big and long book series but i also really want them to have a certain end point and with this it's just more of a ongoing story with like different sorts of adventures and that gets a bit tedious after some time so yeah i really do love the outlander books and i am planning on reading the fourth book since i already own it but i actually don't think i will read the books after that it just takes too much time and too much effort and i don't think it's worth it but yeah, please let me know if you think otherwise. And then lastly, I have a series that I didn't know it was a series. But like the first book is getting a sequel. So technically it is. And that is the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue series by Mackenzie Lee. I don't really know if that's like the name of the series. I don't know if this series has a name. I very much thought that this was a standalone. But it is, as I said, getting a sequel this year. And I believe that one is called like the Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Pirates or something. So yeah, again, another book that is like very, very popular. But that I just wasn't that impressed with. I was really excited to read it because the premise sounded really cool and really amazing but i think the execution was just like a little bit more boring than i had expected i think the whole story was just very different from what i had expected and i really do not hate this book and i can see why people do love it it's just again that this is a book that didn't really leave like a lasting impression on me it sort of disappeared between all the other amazing books that i read last year so i'm not interested in picking the sequel up it's just again i have so many more books on my radar that I'm way more excited about than like the sequel to this book. So yeah, again, I don't know if this technically counts as DNFing a series. But maybe also it does because it is a book series with multiple books in it. And yeah, I just won't be buying the sequel. I won't be reading the sequel. I 
just think I will leave it at the first book. So yeah, this was it for all the book series that I won't be finishing. Like those are literally all the book series that I DNF, like unless I'm forgetting something, but I don't, I don't think it's that much like compared to all the book series that I start. But yeah, as I said, none of these book series really got my attention and some of them I like really hated. And of course it's always good to DNF some book series or books because there are so many books out there and it's just not worth it to waste your attention and time on books that you're not completely excited about. But yeah, this was it for this video. And if you like this video, please go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up because I would always really appreciate that. Please let me know down in the comments what is a book series that you won't be finishing. And then hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!